<laughs> ah, my friends, Coach V got a little jump start on you. This is a very, very relaxing bedtime yoga stretch. And I'm not in my bedroom, but I do sleep out here sometimes. It's all part of living in Florida. I like to sleep outside. Nothing wrong with that. Today's random question is, before we start, is what is the last thing you usually do before you turn off the light and go to sleep at night? What's the last thing? Comment below. All right, it's day 29 of 30 days of yoga. Do them whichever order you like. Just make sure you do them anywhere, anytime. Okay, let's bring it onto our backs. Breathing in the nose, out the nose, modify as needed and always use control. You can place a pillow behind your head, but I'm just gonna, oh, I put it right down there. I'm uh, feeling sassy. Bring the knees into the chest. Wiggle the fingers and the toes. Deep breathing in the nose, out the nose. Let's unwind and relax. Moving the head slightly side to side. <sighs> See my face? Move it around like this. Throughout the day, it's like a fly catcher, like fly paper. Your face, uh, <laughs> it absorbs tension and stress. Let it go. Pay attention to that. It's not just shoulders, neck. It goes right into the forehead, the nose, the cheeks, showing approval or displeasure, whatever it may be. It sticks on there. It absorbs it. Might be the first bedtime stretch you've ever done where we relax the face, take the fingers onto the cheeks, do this, circles. I have a big singing background. I sing opera, I sing music theater, I sing folk music, whatever. I sing in excess. So I'm always relaxing this instrument in here. Keep it loose, keep it open. Mm. While you're doing that, you want a little trick, or I guess the, the hip word is hack. If you have a stuffed up nose, take your fingers right here, and then mm, <laughs> hum through your nose. Put it in there and hum. It actually opens things up. It makes me giggle because it tickles, but it, it really vibrates and opens up the airways. Mm. <laughs> <It tickles. laughs> Please care. <laughs> <laughs> All right, left leg down, right knee in. Hey, do this with my son. <laughs> we just laugh and laugh. And we open up our nasal passageways. I almost said navel passageways. Knees and in the chest, rocking side to side. Hopefully my tight pants don't split. He had to split side to side. <laughs> <laughs> When I used to do professional theater, that saved me sometimes. Show up and you're a little stuffy. I always have some kind of little allergy or whatnot, especially being in Florida, the, the weather fluctuates so much. So it's a, it's a good one. And I, <laughs> it's a good laugh. All right, knees in. <coughs> ah, might be the happiest bedtime stretch we've ever done. <sighs> Look out, Mr. Spider. <sighs> there we go. Get out of here. All right, back and forth. Let's bring this leg all the way across. You gotta do it, you gotta do a twist. You, you're welcome to extend the right leg out, reach this arm out, find your twist. Here's another hack. Boy, Coach V, you're so hip. You're gonna start wearing parachute pants and quoting Saved by the Bell. You're gonna move this leg up and down like that. Unlocking some tightness in the hip joint, in the quad, in the low back. Uh. 
I've been spending a lot of time with my son, which is glorious. So we, we do stuff like that all the time. There we are. Do these every night, I'm telling you. These stretches. When I train people in person, in their homes, I give them homework. I'm like, do these at night. They seldom do it because, maybe because I say homework. I should just say, like with my son, don't do that. Then they'll do it. All right, other side, other side, my friends. Bring that left knee in. <laughs> okay, gotta jump up. Okay, sorry. We all make little adjustments, don't we? All right, there we are. Bring that knee in, rock it back and forth. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of little facial exercises, facial movements, facial uh, endeavors that, that I do daily. My favorite for warming up my voice, and that's from doing theater too. I always wake up doing lip trills, which warms up the face, the lips, the tongue, the voice, gets the airways going like that. If you spend any time around me, which probably the vast majority of you have not, I do that in the morning. <laughs> I walk around doing it. I go up and down into the falsetto, all the way down, warm up the voice, warm up the breath. Because I do talk a lot. Ask my wife. Whether I'm teaching or filming, I even talk, I talk to myself all day. So I want to be warmed up for that. All right, bring this leg all the way across. Is it time for another little hit? We'll call it a little na nasal hit. <laughs> Sorry. Just keep stretching. Oh. Ooh. Anybody, you might start sneezing. Ugh. Which is fun. You know, nowadays you sneeze in public. I sneezed at the library. It's just over there. Somebody dove out of the way. I caught them, luckily. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I and I always, I, you know, you cover up. I cover up my. No. Uh, okay. Up and down with the leg, breathing. How's your breath? In the nose, out the nose. Uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Things are biting me. I'm sure they're biting me out of love, Florida love. Beautiful. How's that feel? Feeling some release in the hip and low back. That's what we want. Bring those knees into the chest again. I don't want to make this too complex. Rock side to side. <clears throat> Sometimes my most popular videos are very, I don't want to say relaxed because there is always a purpose to what we do. There's nothing is by accident. We don't just lay there to be bored or complacent, but they are very ah, subtle. I like that word. Some of the greatest things in this life are very subtle, I find. Everything's so big and brassy. I like withdrawn stuff you don't notice at first, but it packs a big wallet. All right, hands on the knees, circle them. <clears throat> I do a lot of guest classes when I travel. And of course, I love going to Montana. I've taught guest classes in Big Fork, Montana, where I, where we go and visit and where I used to work at the theater there. So I always remember one of the classes, I did this. I'm like, lay on your back, pull your knees into your chest and circle them and they lost their minds. They had never done that. It was their favorite thing. My beautiful Montan Montanians, other direction. <laughs> Keep the fingers and toes loose, but you feel what this is doing to release the back. You want good sleep, right? You want good solid sack time to energize, to rebuild, to disappear for a while <clears throat> and wake up refreshed and invigorated. So you remove physical impediments as well as mental ones. All right, take the legs out. Are we alone here? You know, I do check around sometimes, being a popular Florida guy. People love to come see me. Usually, 
of the gator variety for stretching. See, I'm moving my hips here. I won't fool the money. There we go. Arms over the head. Lower back is lifting off the mat. <clears throat> okay. I feel like I'm with my son. I love that. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Then Addy gets all excited. Starts running around. Okay. <clears throat> We're just going to stay down here. Is that all right? Let's bring the bottoms of the feet together. We got a beautiful hip opener. This is a Coach V classic. Take the hands on the thighs. Press back and forth. Decompressing the lower back. Some nice rotational movement here. Also working the arms and the shoulders a bit. A good way to release something is to tighten it up for a few moments and then release. And it actually gives you that added release than if it was just a complacent muscle. You flex and then release. Give it some movement so it knows where to go to let go. Some tension, tension and release. That's just a hippopotamus. I'm not worried about those, it's the gators. I have a pact with the hippos. All right. Stretch, 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 stretch. Hmm. Oh, heck, let's do one more. As Ned Ryerson would say, oh, heck fire. Yeah, I got a little bite here. Nobody warned me, something crawled onto me and bit me. Okay, figure four, right ankle on the left thigh, extend the left leg up. This is always a popular one. Use that right elbow, press it into your leg to open and rock back and forth. Head up or head down, my friend, whatever you prefer. You're breathing, perhaps you have some Jim Brickman on or Enya. One of my best friends from college, he would listen to, oh, like death metal when he would sleep. It worked for him. From Sweden, the death metal. He was, he was from La Crosse, Wisconsin. There it is, my friend, so nice. And always let me know in the comments below how, how you feel doing this. How you react to it? Does it help you sleep? Did you get more sleep after doing this one consistently? And other side. Remember, these are not one-off flows. They, they upload on a day, but they are around. They are out there for you to practice anytime you want to. Do the whole thing. Do it backwards. Start in the middle and do it to the end. Or just grab one stretch from it. Don't you love body weight fitness? so accessible try to remove every impediment for anybody to say they can't do it always working on that right okay one more big full body stretch saying hi to the hippos behind me coming out of the water slowly stretch 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 my friends, I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful night's sleep. Let me know in the comments below what is the last thing you do before you go to bed at night. For me, I stretch. How boring is that? But I do my twists, knees in, all the stuff you just saw right here. And uh, what a pleasure it is to train together. If this video helped, don't do it right now. Go to sleep. Turn this off. You can hear it later. But uh, click the subscribe button, the like button. Um, hit the notification bell and invite friends. You know someone who has trouble sleeping, we all do. Uh, invite them onto the mat to flow with Coach Vig. And one last thing to always remember before I go to sleep right here is. <laughs> oh, overcome with sleep.